their businesses will be nationalized? No, no, there will be a, for a foreign, direct foreign investment in South Africa How because direct foreign investment, it depends on the stability of a country. How it do you depends reassure on the, on the, How on do you the, reassure the foreign investment? No, no, you must give me a chance to speak unless you want to have this interview with yourself. Then we can give you a chance to speak alone. Okay. Because you're asking me questions, I'm responding to them okay. and that's the Fair whole enough. intention of this uh, conversation. So we are going to ensure that we take control of our own economy. We're going to ensure that we take control of our own land. And those who want to invest in our country, they're going to do so through our own terms. Their businesses will be safe for as long as they will help to grow the economy of South Africa. If they want a piece of land, they will get that piece of land, but they will not own it. They will lease that piece of land for whatever years they so require to lease the piece of land as long as that is aiming at creating jobs and growing the South African economy. And there will be a stable government, the investment will be 100% protected. And there is no blood in South Africa, there is no civil war in South Africa. Hello, hello good people, welcome back to this great and amazing channel and of course I greet you all. It is very cold here in Kenya, Nairobi and that's why I have decided to put on my cape and my jacket on because it is very cold here in Nairobi, Kenya. Those who are saying that Nairobi is always hot. Okay, Nairobi sometimes is very cold. There's no sun. Okay, we expect the sun to come out, but there's no sun. Okay, what we experience here is cold since morning up to right now. It's it's 2 p.m. here in Kenya. Let me big up my friends from uh, Niger from South Africa, uh, guys who are watching us from South Africa, guys who are watching us from Nigeria, and guys who are watching us from Uganda. Those friends that are watching us from uh, United States of America, and the guys who are watching us from Canada, I big up unto you guys. Thank you and continue watching our videos. Subscribe because if you subscribe, we grow. So there's this guy called Julius Malema. I, I was doing some research about his life and uh, how he joined politics and uh, I realized that this guy has come a long way. This guy has come a long, long way for him to reach where he is right now. Now, for you to achieve uh, marvelously or for you to achieve success in life, you have to first work, have determination and uh, believe in yourself. So Julius Malema believed in, in himself and that's why he has achieved w what he has achieved today and that's why he is in the position that he is right now. Okay? So success does not come easily. Sometimes you need to stand your ground. To say no is a big no. And if yes is a big yes. So I love this guy because he always stands his ground. You always stand for the correct thing. You always uh, stand for the right thing. And does not accept to be disrespected or to be mistreated. That's why people, do, uh, people love him. At the same time, people hate him because of his stand. Sometimes he doesn't tolerate any nonsense. Okay? I watched that video the same as you. You watched it. And what, what can you comment? Okay, you can use the comment section below and give us your comment. What do you think? Okay, we need such people in, uh, in Africa today. And uh, if we could ha have these people in Africa, those years back, the years of Nelson Mandela, the years of Jomo Kenyatta, the years of, uh, of, uh, of Mwalimu, of Nyerere, okay, Africa, will have been very far right now. Okay? I wish Julius Malema was born those years of uh, of uh, Akinatom Boya, Malimu Nyerere. Okay? We could have not have such Africa. Africa could have been a very great continent and a lovely continent to, li to live in. Okay? Our leaders and our chiefs sold us to the, to the slavery. Okay? And that topic, nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to discuss that topic. 
okay it's a very key topic that must be discussed okay and our chiefs hapo na mli tuangusha okay selling your brothers and your sisters to slavery was not a solution if you could have got such people like Julius Malema you have not have a corrupt africa with corrupt leaders Malema has been talking about borderless africa they have been stressing so much on a borderless africa why borderless africa because borderless africa will isn't trade trade will be so easy in africa and currency flow will be easier and faster investment will also be easier right now you cannot go and invest in uganda why because you must pass through so many procedures legal uh, requirement for you to be legalized or authorized to do business in other countries so guys thank you for watching our videos please subscribe comment and share today the environment is not favorable there is a lot of noise in the environment people are doing their daily businesses that's why the environment is much noisy but i thank you once more for your support may god bless you continue supporting this channel let's grow together i cannot do it by myself that's why i need you by my side i need you to hold my hands and we shall grow together thank you and be blessed